Well, boys, it's that time of year. The free 99s are finally here in NHL 22. And in today's video, we'll be breaking down all the options that you have, including which one you should take. Without any further ado, let's get right into today's video. As soon as you log into NHL 22, you'll see the six options here that you can choose from for a free 99 overall card. Let's first talk about what you have to do in order to attain one of these cards, and then we'll dive into the selections. Under the NHL award selection, you'll see that you have 97 days so quite some time to complete this the first thing is going to be this for all you grinders out there you have to open up seven daily reward packs that being said well you at least have to wait a week in order to get this player on your team in addition to that you have to complete 11 games again it's going to be rivals hut champions or squad battles and that in turn also turns into 88 games. So 88 total games played. In addition to that, you also have to win games, 41 games total to be exact. And again, keep in mind that's only in rivals, hut champions, and squad battles. You're gonna have to place 528 shots on goal. No idea why that's the number, but it is what it is. And then in addition to that, 573 of those goals have to go behind the tendy. And lastly, you're gonna start throwing the body and you better start now if you haven't. And if that's not your play style, well maybe go in squad battles and just throw the hits. You're gonna have to make almost 1500 hits. For some reason, it's 1489. So if you complete all these objectives, you will have a free 99 overall choice set. Let's talk about what choice you should make next. Let's first talk about some of this card art. This Freddie Anderson is gonna be one of your choices. Please don't take this. Please, 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 please do not take a goaltender, especially at this stage of the game in a 99 overall card. Just don't take him. Now, that being said, he's six foot four, 229 pounds with gold post to post and everything here is pretty stacked. I'm sure he's phenomenal, but there's gonna be much cheaper options that in my opinion, if you're gonna play all these games and earn this player for free, you probably have a lot of other coins that you can buy a goaltender with. That being said, it's a great card, but not the one I would choose. Up next, we have Roman Yossi, and well, these cards are pretty hard to review based on the fact that they're 99 overall across the board. So a few things to keep in mind here. Roman Yossi, a left-handed defenseman. He does have gold 1T and silver seeing eye. That's a fantastic combo. Again, pretty much, really, he is 99 everything across the board except for in face-offs. He's six foot two, 201. If you're a Preds fan like me, as you can see in the background of my video here, I'm thinking about taking Yossi, but there's a clear cut option. That being said, if you're a Preds fan, if he's one of your better players, or you need a left handed defenseman, he's not a bad choice. Ryan Kessler gets a card, and I like that they actually made his card very similar to how his play style was with the no contest. I'm surprised he doesn't have truculence uh, as well, but he does have big tipper. This would be a great centerman card. He's gonna be really hard to take off the puck at 6'2", 205. If you're concerned about his speed, don't worry. With the synergies, he could be 99 speed and 99 acceleration. So he's near the top of the list. Again, unless you're a Kessler fan, probably wouldn't take him. But that being said, obviously, these are all phenomenal cards. They're 99 across the board. Next up, in my opinion, we have the clear cut choice that you should take. Why? Well, let's talk about it. All things aside, this card is six foot four, 240 pounds. And yeah, his name is Eric Lindros, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you have played with Lindros in any previous NHLs, I remember playing with him years ago before the 2000s, I think it was even in an NHL. This card has always been nasty. Uh, he's extremely hard to take off the puck. He's obviously a huge body, and when everything else is equal, then we have to go to size and to height. In addition to that, he has unstoppable force, no contest, close quarters, and gold truculence, which is just gonna be a ton of fun to body people out there. And again, same thing with Kessler as it is here with Lindros. 99 XL and 99 speed is also attainable. You could throw on workhorse, spark, wingman, depends on which one you have activated on your team. And then in addition to that, fly the zone or distributor is also available. So again, 99 across the board. I said it once and I'll say it again. If I am you, this is the card that I am taking no questions asked Nikita Kucherov gets a card man I just love the card art on these they did a phenomenal job I really hope the team of the year card art is something like this next year because this just looks disgustingly beautiful like it's it's one of the best ones in my opinion anyway back to the Kucherov card he has gold wheels that's certainly going to help you if you have them on your first line and if you're making an all Tampa Bay team, which would be really easy this year with all the high 99 cards that they have out, <laughs> well, then, uh, yeah, maybe not a bad choice for you either. Again, there's no bad choices in here, guys, at the end of the day. 
If I'm you, I would choose Lindros, but overall, I'd love to see that Cooch gets a card. And last but not least, Marty St. Louis gets a card. The Tampa Bay Lightning star, I guess, also played for the Rangers at one point, but 5'8", 180 pounds. Yeah, he's tiny, but he's probably going to fly. He does have silver wheels as well. But again, guys, I don't want to stress this any more than I have to in this video. The choice is yours to make regardless of what you want to do but if you want the best advantage and if you're competing still in this game or want to prep with the best team that you could possibly have going into nhl 23 probably would steer clear of marty st louis again 58180 versus lindros over here at 64240 everything else equal yeah, I would take I would take Lindros for sure. Also, keep in mind that you could get another one of these cards either earlier or currently, and you're able to do that here in the sets just like everything else. So you could choose any of these guys that you would like. And again, keep in mind, you also turn in the collectibles. And also something to take note of, you could turn in any of the player items that you have here. 93s are now included, so you can get 11 collectibles for a 93 overall player. If you want either multiples of these cards or if you just want to get one of these players, i.e. Lindros, earlier than you would if you waited to get them for free. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Man Advantage. If you enjoy the video and you enjoy NHL 22 content, make sure you go ahead and click like and subscribe. Again, I'm Man Advantage, and I'll see you guys next time.